Hello there to my lovely parents and welcome to my Algebra 1 classroom. This is what it looks like for your kids now. Um, this is your introduction to flipping. So I'll make this short and sweet as I know you have lots of things to do. So you should all know my name is Mrs. Gilliland. The kids call me Miss G. And like I said, this is what my Algebra 1 classroom looks like for your kids now. A um, few little things about me. First of all, um, I got my bachelor's from Texas Tech in mathematics and I am currently in the process of pursuing my master's degree in curriculum instruction through the University of Houston. I'm almost done. I graduate May 11th and I cannot wait for that to happen. A few little other things about me. I am married to Mr. G. Some of you know who he is because you have um, older children who have him for pre-cal and calculus up at Richardson High School. This is him right here. Um, that's Alton Brown. Yes, we did get to meet him at Barnes & Noble. We have one daughter together. Her name is Mackenzie. She's my mini-me. She looks just like me. And then I have two stepdaughters because um, he had children from a previous marriage. Uh, Shelby is 17. She gets getting ready to graduate from high school. And then Taylor is 14 as a freshman in high school. They both attend school in Frisco. We have a dog. His name is Cole. He, he thinks he rules the world. And then we have a cat named Felix um, who's quite emotional. So the flipped classroom, you've heard about this. Hopefully your kids have talked to you about this, but so just to give you an idea of what it's like, students come home at night and they are supposed to watch a 10 to 15 minute video of the instruction and they're supposed to take notes while at home. The videos to this point have not been longer than 15 minutes. I will try to keep them short as, you know, under 15 minutes because that's, you know, for their attention spans. Um, they Then they come to class and then students practice their skills and do homework while in class with me. This provides them an opportunity to ask questions and get clarification while they're practicing instead of being at home going, oh, I have no idea how to do number 12. I'm, I'm stuck and I don't know what to do and I don't have any way to get help unless, you know, they've got parents at home who are very strong in their math skills. And so this gives them an opportunity to get those questions asked while they're doing it instead of having to come in the next day and say, well, I didn't get how to do this or I don't have time to come to tutoring. They get to do all that while they're in the classroom. This also allows me to address misconceptions that they have from the very beginning. From the minute they have that misconception or misunderstanding, I can fix it. So they don't ever build their knowledge around that misconception and then it has to be fixed way down the road where they already have it stuck in their mind. What the students think. These are just some things that I have heard from the kids. I haven't actually done an official survey or anything, but these are some things I've heard from the kids. They love getting to have time to spend um, doing their homework in class instead of having to do it at home because they get to ask those questions and get help on the things they need help with. The lessons are much shorter and completely in a, uninterrupted unlike you know during a class day um, where a lesson can take me 45 minutes to get through because of all the interruptions that happen. I have to stop to take attendance or I need to ask somebody to stop talking or I have to redirect the student or somebody comes in and needs my help with something else you know a an office worker comes in and needs a student or you know the principal comes in and has a question it is completely uninterrupted 15 minutes and it gets to happen on their schedule they can pause it if they need a minute to write something down they can rewind it if they didn't understand it you know the first time and they want to hear it again they can stop it if something comes up and they you know need a second to go do something you asked them to do or something else that needs to be done you know so that it gets to happen on their schedule instead of here is when you're going to get the instruction. This is your only chance to get the instruction. They can always even go back. It's a great way to study for tests. There are the videos. They can go back to those videos and, and watch them again before a test. And I know that there are some students who have been doing that. They absolutely love having less homework to do, especially since a lot of them are also in pre-AP language arts. And I know that that is very time consuming. They now have less homework for math because the videos are short and generally if they don't finish their homework in class they have almost finished it so that it's just a few questions they still have to do before they come in. I have seen a greater rate of homework being turned in. Students who were leaving homework at home or forgetting stuff or just not turning it in because they didn't understand it are turning in homework every day. I very rarely have um, a case any longer where students are not turning in homework because they are being able to do it in class. It, this also gives them an ownership over their learning because it happens when they are ready and on their terms which also makes for a much happier classroom for them and for me. Um, this flipped classroom is absolute. I think it's heaven. I am absolutely loving it. The kids I believe are loving it. I've had some very good feedback from some of you. But so here is your introduction to what that looks like. 
There's my contact information. Most of you have it, but just in case, there is my email address, which is the best way to reach me and my phone number. My phone, we are in the process of getting new ones, but the one that I currently have right now does not work very well, and sometimes it's hard to hear, so email generally is the best. But if you have any questions at all about the flipped classroom, about how your student is doing, um, anything, don't hesitate to email me or give me a call, and, and we can talk about it and hopefully make everything better. I look very much... Um, forward to seeing you guys on Monday night at open house so that you can ask questions and sort of get an idea of how things are going Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you all Monday